Haven't done this in a while. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cletus and I aim to bring you guys fun, informative, and entertaining videos all about knitting. Oh my god, I still remember how to say that. <laughs> okay, first things first. So sorry I just poofed and disappeared out of thin air on my knitting online presence for like six, seven months. <gasps> but as you can see, I'm in a new setup. I actually moved to Vienna, Austria, two, three months ago to start a new job. And speaking of updates, thank you so much to all the new subscribers that subscribed, even though I haven't been regularly posting new videos. I really, really appreciate it, and I think I'm almost up to a thousand, which is pretty cool. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you do down below and ring the bell notification so you are notified whenever I come up with a new upload. And if you're interested in keeping up with me, with my personal life, or my knitting journey, you can follow me over on Instagram at Cletus Tries Knitting. So, without further ado, let's get to what everyone clicked this video for. My Made With Love Tom Daly knitting kit has arrived. This is Tom Daly's Made With Love Flamingo's favorite sweater. It's all in here. So if for whatever reason you don't know who Tom Daly is, weird. <laughs> he is a British diver, an Olympic athlete, and then I'm sure so many of you guys have seen this photo circulating around just earlier this year during the 2021 Olympic Games. The company was first announced on November 23rd of this year, 2021, and it was subsequently launched on the 25th, I believe, and it wasted no time, and I placed this order on the 26th of November. I think I actually set an alarm, but and then I ended up ignoring the alarm, so I was a day behind. Okay, so I'll stop babbling now, and I'm gonna take you into my hands and give you a little POV of me opening this box. <laughs> All right, here it is. So the box arrived looking like this. It's got the, oh, way around. It's got the Made With Love by Tom Daly. You can see right here yesterday, I was so tempted to open it and then I stopped myself. Nope, not opening it. Gonna do it on camera so I can give you guys my full and honest reaction. Let's get to opening. Okay, ooh, it comes really nicely wrapped. I mean, yeah, wrapped inside a tote bag or something like that. And let's see. Oh, it's okay. So it's straight up a tote bag. Okay, maybe I should have read. Maybe this was included. Oh, oh my gosh. So it comes with one tote bag full of yarn. And let's take out this one as well. Another little muslin bag, also probably full of yarn. I will take that out in a moment. All of them have this made with love by Tom Daly. And then this sheet. It's part of my invoice. Don't even look at that. All right, let's dive into it. Which bag first? Big or small, big or small. Okay, let's go for big. I'm sorry for being rough and tumble with this. Ah! So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls of this super chunky white merino wool. I'll go into the specs of the wool in a bit and into detail of everything. And then here we have two knitting needles. Let's dump it out. More of the accent colors and the wool. Oh, that's... That's so interesting. Ah. So I've bought a West Knits kit before and I've bought a We Are Knitters kit and neither of them has ever given me like half a ball of wool or literally like just enough to do the accent, which I guess is nice. It's, it's probably like more eco-friendly. You don't get to waste. Yeah, let me know. Have you guys ever ordered a kit and it comes with like half balls or like literally like, what is this? Two grams, <laughs> two grams of the wool. So here it is all laid out, everything inside the package, all the way from the UK. I like to think it's personally packaged by Tom Daly, okay? Just, just let me live. So, what I was talking about earlier, this is kind of true. So this was kind of like the receipt and invoice. And here you get a message from Tom. It says, um, you've sent thousands of messages of support, encouraged me and asked questions about knitting since I started this journey. This inspired me to spread the love even further and launch Made With Love. We have designed these kits with quality and sustainability in mind, ensuring that the final kit is the best that it can be. So yeah, sustainability, definitely a thing. I definitely see that in here where it doesn't give you like useless full uh, balls of wool that you're only gonna end up using like a couple grams for. So that's really awesome. So what does the kit come with? Let's go through item by item. So first, all your wool is packaged inside this amazing tote bag. And then inside the tote bag, comes with your pattern booklet. And then attached here is with the darning needle, which 
I really also love this idea. Instead of having a separate packaging with maybe like a bit of plastic and stuff to hold the needle in place, they just went for simplistic and just stuck it on there, which I really, really enjoy. And tucked inside there was this handy dandy tension gauge. This is a first for me. In my two other kits I bought did not come with a tension gauge, which is actually so, so insanely useful, especially if you're just starting out. Let's see, what does this say? For calming the mind to take up your new hobby, knitting offers something for everyone. My knit kits are here to teach you the basics and have fun at the same time. Pick up your knitting needles and thread the love with me. You also get two separate knitting needles. I believe it comes in a 10 mm and a 12 mm. These are thick, these are chunky, just like the wool. It feels like drumsticks. Um, the website doesn't say what material they are. They look good. I've never knitted with straight needles before. I always ever only use circular needles. And I remember We Are Knitters, I believe. They give you the option to not buy the needles to make the kit slightly cheaper, which this wasn't an option for. So you had to get these needles as well. And then the rest of the wool, like these little guys here, they came in this smaller, tote, not a tote bag, like a project bag with a drawstring on top. It looks really nice. I'll definitely be using these bags. I'm really, really excited. Okay, so the main guys, the, the star of the show, the wool. So I purchased the Flamingo's favorite jumper in a believe medium short, and I chose the exact same color palette as photographed by Tom Daly. So it comes with, in the medium, it comes with eight of these super chunky, I don't know if they're super chunky, I think they're just chunky. Let's have a look eight of this base color, and it's called the chunky one. It's 100% merino wool. And here are the specs. 100 grams, and there's 65 meters in there. And then that's your gauge, and the instructions on the website. But yeah, so far, really, really impressed with everything so far. I obviously haven't knit with this yet. I will let you guys know how it knits up and how it feels, but from my first impressions, it's so soft. I mean, it's 100% merino cannot go wrong with that. So let's move on now to these accent colors. So here, I will pop up all the names on the screen right now for you, but here is a beautiful navy one, a red one, a white one. I think this is for like the fluffs, like the little flamingo fluffs. And we got turquoise, I love this color. This is my favorite. And then a little yellow mustardy, and actually a full ball of this pink for the flamingo. Okay, so that's it. That was everything inside the box. I must say, just from literally first impressions, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I hope that doesn't sound shady. The idea of kits in general doesn't really speak to me because I'm not an absolute beginner. That like I know how to pair the wool, I know how to choose what I like, I know what needles I like, I know how to go on Ravelry and find a pattern for a couple of dollars. So generally, in my opinion, if you're an intermediate to advanced knitter, you don't really need kits. But I'm obsessed with this kit and I'm gonna tell you why. The aesthetic, it looks amazing. It comes with the tote bags. I'm so easily satisfied. I Just give me a tote bag and I'll love everything. <laughs> but I really, really like it. And I touched on it earlier that Tom really chose like good quality for his first kits. Like it's 100% merino. I know that will drive up the price, but at the end of the day, I think it is worth it. Knitting can be an expensive hobby and you can keep things down with poly blends or acrylic wool, but yeah, just the fact that he chose Merino shows me that, you know, he knows his stuff, guys. I also really, really enjoy the fact that, you know, he mentioned sustainability in his little message that came with the package, and I can definitely see that. So let me tell you how much I paid for this jumper. So I got the medium short of the Flamingo's favorite jumper, which includes eight balls of wool and, you know, a bunch of the smaller accent colors, and that actually cost me 125 pounds. So if you haven't knitted a lot or anything, um, that sounds crazy, okay? 125 pounds for a sweater that, you know, you, you have to make yourself. But honestly, a regular sweater, if you purchased premium quality wool, can cost that much. And added on top of that was also, you know, you get the knitting needles, the darning needles, you know, the, the pattern. I think the pattern is the main thing, you know? It, you, you would buy this kit because you love Tom Daly, or you love what he stands for, you know, you love the design. So that is also what you are paying for, not just for the wool itself. So I don't know, am I just used to it? I don't know, how much do you usually spend on wool and kits? 
let me know. So that brings me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I will obviously be knitting this up. You know, if you want to keep track, I'm going to keep uploading and, you know, giving updates over on my Instagram, over at Cletus Tries Knitting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and ring the bell notification. So, you know, if I ever upload again, you'll get a little notification and you'll get to watch the video first. Lastly, I want to leave you guys with a question of the day. What are your general opinions? on knit kits. I briefly touched on it. I don't think they're always worth it, but I am pleasantly surprised and blown away by the current kit just from my first impressions. I can't wait to knit it up. And I will obviously create a full review video, a much more detailed review video about this kit. So yeah, let me know your opinions down below. I would really love to know more about it. If you have any other questions about this kit or any things that you want me to explore or think about as I'm knitting it, also let me know. This will probably take me I don't know, I'm working full time now, so maybe like two weeks, three weeks? I don't know, it's Christmas. We'll see, I'll keep you updated over on Instagram. Okay, this video is already too long. I'm gonna sign off now. All right, bye guys.